Hey everybody, welcome to the webinar. My name is Will, PHC coach. Thanks for coming out. It is Monday, March 4th, 2019 at 11 o'clock in the morning. So uh, I just got a new headset. So just let me know first off if you know you can hear me and you can see my screen. Just type a one in the chat box if we're good to go. See if everybody's awake here. Getting a couple coming in. Okay. You can hear me. You can see me. Good stuff. And then, again, I always do this just while people are coming on. Yeah, people are saying it's a little bit scratchy with this new one. Not good. Not good at all. It's like one of those gaming headsets, but I don't really ever do any gaming, so I'm not sure. They didn't have the one I usually buy from Microsoft. So, anyway, uh, let me know where you are located geographically in the world. So, I'm in London, Ontario, Canada, as you guys know. But where are you? Let's see where we are. So we got other side of Canada, Victoria, BC, St. Petersburg, Florida, a little bit nicer there than here, Chicago, uh, Kitchener, right on, Orlando. Uh, let's see, Arizona, Buffalo. So we got all over. I was looking for, there's usually a couple in like uh, Vietnam and Malaysia too, but I guess they're sleeping right now. The Australian guys tend to sleep in. Oh, Laguna Hills, California. Cool. UK. All right, here we go. So we're, we're pretty much worldwide. That's awesome. Love it. All right, so I'm going to dive right in. You guys have been on here before, kind of know the format, but this is a little bit different because I'm doing something, something a lot different than what I usually do. So the goal is basically to get you to 300 sales in 300 days, in 30, not 300 days, 30 days. So that's like 10 sales a day. That's totally achievable. And uh, But I wanted to thank you for coming on. I appreciate you taking time out of your day. So my goal for the webinar is very simple. So it's to qualify you. Okay, so, so basically I'm doing a 30-day challenge uh, and I want to make sure that you qualify for it. So who is this for? Let's start right there. It's for the following people, people who are tired of failing online. And I keep running these boot camps and courses and webinars and everything else because there are always people that are sick of it. They're sick of failing. They want something new. They want something unique. They want to take action. And they, they have that internal drive that won't shut off. So maybe they gave something a shot in the past and it didn't work. And they said, okay, well, I'm not done. I see other people making money at this. So I, I'm going to make money at this as well. And that's what this is for. So this is something where I'm adding in an extra wrinkle that I've never done before. And I'm almost uh, hesitant to do it because it's almost, it sounds like one of those, oh, that's too good to be true type things, but it's not. So what are we doing? Well, like I said, showing you how to get to 300 sales a day using Gearbubble Facebook ads and putting a timeline of 30 days on this. So I put together a whole challenge format, basically. Why? A couple of reasons. First, uh, my one-on-one -on -one is out of reach for most people. It's a little bit too expensive. Uh, it does work and work very well. And the stuff that I typically cover in the one-on-one -on -one is along the lines of my courses and stuff like that, but it's dedicated to the person individually. So we really customize things and I'm actually going into their campaigns and I'm, and I'm showing them how to get the design done. And I'm actually saying, you know, before you approve that, send it over to me and we're kind of working together one-on-one. -on -one. So it's very expensive. That's the thing. So I can't really reach as many people as I want through the one-on-one -on -one channel. So second, I put out courses. So my, my gear bubble course 2.0 is really good, but this program kind of takes it to the next level. So it kind of falls between my one-on-one -on -one and my course, as far as like the value ladder goes, because I can reach more people in a group format, but I can still provide a ton of value and a little bit more uh, group coaching than takes place in the in the course. Plus the one I had a benefit of, I'm gonna run this whole thing and then I'm actually gonna give away all my designs at the end. So I'm gonna say, you know what? I know some of you will copy me anyway because you, you do it. So I'm just like, here, have them, have at it. So I think that alone is worth it. I mean, without even me just having my designs and watching me do the campaigns and saying, oh, that's what he targeted. Oh, that's what he thought. Oh, that's why he did that. And then you go and go uh, carbon copy, boom, to your campaign and Bob's your uncle. So I'm not worried about competition at all. I am limiting this thing. I'm not letting everybody and their dog in um, because 
I only want serious people. So if you stay on until the end, I do have something special for you. It's an offer, but you have to stay until the end to get it. So real quick, again, I'm going to go through this part quickly. Why do I do this stuff? There are some new people on here. So there's more to life than sitting alone on your computer making money. I actually, I get bored pretty easily. Uh, so I like challenges myself. So this 30-day challenge is not only for you, it's for me too. Because I really like to challenge myself and put myself out there and say, hey, can you do this too? And I know I can. So helping others succeed is almost more rewarding though than the money. So the money's fine. Money's great. But money comes and goes. It's not the end of the world. You can have the most money in the world and you're still not happy. But you need other things to make yourself happy. And helping other people makes me happy. So that's what I want to do. So here's a guy, again, I like to show Michael quite a bit, but he's doing really well. This was a long time ago, uh, but he hit 391 sales. This is a gear bubble screenshot. That's 10,000 revenue, pretty good. And he just said he hit his milestone. And this was from the course, or version one of the course. So pretty cool there. And then Ben uh, hit 1,000 sales. He's probably got way more. I should get him to send me an update. But this is, again, this is a gear bubble course that he took from me. So it does work. Um, Cedric, another guy, took a course, Gear Bubble course, version one, failed for a while, bought a lot of courses, can tell the good from the bad, uh, and then uh, again, he had his first thousand dollars day back a while back, he's probably up even more anymore than that now, but uh, anyway, he says, don't ask because I don't post screenshots, you wouldn't believe him anyway, uh, so that's awesome, so for the first time, I decided not to second guess him and do exactly what he's teaching, whether it makes sense or not, I'm not an affiliate, don't sell necklaces on Gearbubble. So he took my course, but he applied it to his business. Best course I've seen so far. Not selling bullshit because I follow other high earners. He's on the same page as them. I'm just a better teacher. So I love that. That's why I do it. And then Paul, another one. Um, something seems to be working here. Now it's seven sales. One sale made from sponsored ads with a dollar per day budget. All seven sales are coffee mugs. So this was another one. This is, uh, I think this is Etsy that he got this on. But anyway. That's why I do it for those screenshots because I love them. It, it just makes me happy when somebody takes off and gets it and, and just does really well. That's the best thing to me. So that's why I put together this 300 sales in 30 days challenge. Uh, more on that later. Time for the good old intro that I'll keep short and sweet. Who am I? For those of you that do not know me, that's me. Five daughters. I have five daughters. I live in Canada, about two hours from Detroit, two hours from Toronto. I do love helping people. That's my website. Uh, I've trained a lot of people over the years. Started in 2005, so I'm like a veteran in the world. That's my first big paycheck. I show this because this is 2005. I should really show some more recent ones, but I love this because it just shows how long I've been around. So that's about $17,489.53 US, which is even more in Canada. Multiply that by like 1.28, and it's over like 20,000 Canadian. So we didn't even have high-resolution cameras. You couldn't take a picture on your phone. That's when that check was taken. And uh, I think I still – no, I don't have that jacket anymore. I got rid of that. But anyway, I was doing uh, secured loan leads using Google AdWords. Key is I had a mentor show me how to do that. So that's why I kind of show that. After that check, I did say the weirdest thing to my wife. I have to quit my job, start making money. And you don't hear people saying that too often. It's really a weird sentence to say, but it was true. And I did quit my job, and my last shift was New Year's Eve 2006. And now I've sold well over a million dollars in physical products and counting. Did it with a lot of different methods. Uh, Facebook ads, Google Shopping, Google Search, Google Display. Got into uh, YouTube ads, but I really like Facebook. I keep coming back to it. Even though they keep changing things on me, I keep seeing, I, I somehow find the, the way to make it work, no matter what changes they throw. So... I'm now approaching uh, over a million from my courses and coaching too. So I work in both worlds at the same time. And the, the good old thing I love to hear is those who can't do teach. Well, not this guy. I'm not a university professor. Um, I actually am right in the trenches with you, as you'll see in the challenge, big time. So that's not me. I practice what I preach. And that's unlike a lot of others out there. So enough fluff. Let's get into the training. Let's get into the explanation. Let's qualify you for the 30-day challenge. This is one of my new methods. So this is about as up to date as you can be. So you can see I just spent, oh, I don't know why that's popping up on the bottom, but 72.93, got five sales, 14.59. So the website conversion value uh, is 2.75 and 30 cents. So the return on ad spend was 3.77. So that's not too bad. That's not a big screenshot, but it's a good one. 
because it shows one of my methods that works very well. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't kidding when I said I practice what I preach. I'll show you another one later that's even bigger. So today we're going to cover three things. So it's what you can sell, how you can sell it, and then how to ensure your success. So the typical format, but a little bit different. So if you have questions, please do post them in the uh, chat and I'll just check it real quick. I'm not, I, the microphone is actually far away from my face, so I don't know why it's scratchy. I'm going to try something here. I think I might have caught the cord. I'll try this. I just saw a notice in here. I might have to go through a different jack. I don't know if the cord was pinched. Oh, question already. How can you make money on a mug at $14 cost per action? You can't. That was for a necklace. That paid me $30. So I actually made $16 profit. All right, number one, what to sell. So this is where we cover like three phases of what to sell. And it starts with research and then getting a design created and then getting the product created. So we'll go into this in a second here. So let's look at research first. Where can you find ideas? Like, I don't even have a product. What am I going to sell? I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Panic, panic, panic. Well, it's not that hard. Ideas are, are literally everywhere. So if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll see a lot of them. Those that participate in my 30-day challenge, you don't have to really do this part because I'm going to do it and show you. <laughs> so uh, basically, think of this. Last time you're at the mall, did you ever, like, snap, snap like, a pic of a funny T-shirt or mug or anything like that? I know um, I've gone to Walmart and I see, I love using Walmart and I'll show you an example in a second, but they're really good because they have buyers that vet every single item that goes into their store. So you know it's going to be a good product because it made it to the floor. So, and if it's prominently displayed on the shelf or in a prominent, like a high traffic area of the store, you know it's a good product and you know they believe in it. So I love that. So. If you're at the mall or you're at Walmart or wherever and you see something, you should. Like take just take a quick pick of it. I do that all the time. My phone is filled up with that. I get a ton of ton of ideas that, that way and I'll put them on a product and sell it. So let's look at one of my favorites. Right here is Walmart.com. And like I said, I, I love going here not to buy stuff, but to just search and to see like what's working. So if I'm if I'm looking for something to buy for my wife. or say that's a niche I want to get into potentially online, I can go here and I go like wife gifts and I can start looking through what they have. And you can see that these cork wine stoppers are in Walmart or this. I love to wrap both my hands around and swallow them like God. So that's like a bachelor uh, kind of coffee mug. But you can get ideas from here as far as what you can sell, what you can put on it. And what I'm looking for more so than the actual product is what's on the product. So if there's a slogan or anything like that. So say I go to Wife Gifts is showing some weird stuff. So I go, okay, well, let's go to funny t-shirts. So I want to get into this niche. And I say, okay, well, here's a whole bunch. And I can just go over them. And you can see basically any one of these that are in here are in there for a reason. So does this shirt make me look drunk? Um, if you were to open up, or if you wanted to sell any of these online, I'm just trying to see what this says. I didn't say it was your fault. I said I was going to blame you. So, okay, there we go. So if you're into coffee mugs or something like that, and you go, I don't know what to put on a coffee mug, I'll tell you right now, the, the funny mugs and the sarcastic ones sell the best. So you can go to Walmart, type up funny t-shirt, take that slogan. I didn't say it was your fault. I said I was going to blame you. Throw that on a coffee mug and it will probably work because Walmart's done all the heavy lifting for you. So the buyer from Walmart got approached by some t-shirt guy who said, hey, I've got all these funny shirts. You want to buy them? And Walmart said, yep, we do. And then if they made it to the store, that means that they're actually selling in their stores. So does this shirt make me look drunk? So dumb stuff like that can work really well. But you can also get into... Um, sentimental stuff as well. So next time you wave, use all your fingers. That's hilarious. Nice. So you could literally spend like a day on here just looking at these. Everyone's entitled to my opinion. <laughs> that's a good one too. I love it. Um, 
and then say we go, we say, okay, well, that's funny t shirt it's wonderful. What if we want to find something a little bit more sentimental? So then we'll go to the card department and we'll go to my daughter. And let's see what comes up here. Oh, there we go. Letters to my daughter. Well, maybe we want um, a card instead of like a book. Let's see what comes up here. All these. So Hallmark greeting, Hallmark mahogany birthday card greeting card for daughter. So let's go here, open that in a new tab. And it says on your birthday and every day I celebrate you in my heart. And then you can see the inside too. This is where you get the gold. So I celebrate the way you've made your mark on this world, touching the lives of everyone who loves you. I celebrate your strength. And, but especially today, I celebrate you. So you can pull out a couple sentences out of these and easily put them onto um, a necklace. Sorry, I got distracted here. I want to see this one. You can easily put them onto a necklace. So what I like to do is go here. Beautiful, amazing. It's hard to highlight it so you guys can read it. Let's go to the inside. When I first saw you, when I first held you, when I first called you my daughter. I loved you then, loved you now, loved you always. So something like that you could take. Just take a chunk of it, put it on a necklace, get a designer, do up a nice design, sell it. That's it. So go here. That's your research. You can see a lot of different things. I'm not going to spend all day on here just because I could. I have I've found myself sometimes just getting lost in, in the rabbit hole of Walmart. And that's just one store. So there's a lot of other sources out there, too, that you can use quite easily to find this. All right. So that's Walmart. Pretty cool. I think so. So are you getting some ideas? The, like I said, the possibilities are basically endless. You can go way beyond Walmart. You can go to um, online store like Hallmark, right? They're a greeting card store or company. So you can go to their website and you can search it and you can find a ton of different things on Walmart as well. So next, so you've got a big list of, of ideas for quotes and stuff that you want to do. Next thing you want to do is create the design. And you've got a couple options here. Well, two basic options. First, you can do it yourself. And this used to work very well. And I used to train people on how to do this. So I'd say, okay, get Photoshop or GIMP and follow my example, use a template and, you know, you know, do the design in a circle if it's on a round one or put it around a heart and then put a nice image on there and good enough, you can sell that. Well, that doesn't really work as well anymore. And even um, it's time, con time consuming. And the other thing is you can't really compete as much today as we used to be able to. So the, I mean, I'll show you an example of mine in a second that I do with Photoshop. I guess I should just dump into this route right now. So you can see I did a circular design in Photoshop. And how I taught myself to do that is I went on YouTube and I said, how do I do text in a circle? And then I took like this to my daughter. Never forget that I love you. You'll always be daddy's little girl. Put a little heart in the middle. And what do you know? I sold like 8,000 of them. Um, well, actually, a little bit more now. But here's the math. So for you guys that are questioning what's, you know, did you make profit or revenue? What's going on here? Well, so if you list this at 2795, which I did, then the pro this should be revenue. Uh, so the profit margin, I guess, is $20. And then you have to subtract your ad costs from that $20. So the, the gross revenue would be 161600 which it did. And so even if I spent half on ads, which I did, my profit was 80000 Okay, so the profit margin or the pro or it should be revenue per sale is 20 the profit is 80,000 so it's about half so the profit up per sale is about 10 bucks okay not too shabby that one is mine those numbers are real it's not a joke and i've got a couple more that i've done similar to so that's why i'm pretty good at this stuff it's simple but it worked and it made me a lot of money and then i, I taught people how to do it too and a lot of competition came by and the savvy ones would go out and like beat my designs. So they wouldn't just do them themselves, but they'd actually go out and create their own, which was a good idea. And they ended up um, doing really well for themselves. So a lot of guys that have been through my courses over the years have actually gone on to do like huge numbers. So I love that. So I used to recommend that, right? Do it yourself. Now, not so much. I don't really want, well, what I found 
a lot in my courses and my groups and my one-on-one is that you're it's very rare for somebody to be a designer and a good marketer and an analytic type mind like those those three minds don't really combine well so it's best to outsource your weaknesses to something to somebody who's better at it than you so i can do designs but my designs aren't the best so now i just i just bit the bullet and i said you know what i'm gonna outsource this so i outsource it i get a pro to do the design and i don't pay a lot because i basically use fiverr okay so fiverr.com you can check it out i'm not going to go through fiverr right now it's fairly simple open an account find a designer tell them what you want they'll make up a whole bunch of um, drafts and then you can do revisions and then you you say you know i don't like that there move it over there or i don't like that color combo or i don't like that layout or whatever they'll do revisions typically and then you can sell that so i buy my designs on fiverr typically five at a time because i get a discount if i buy in volume so that's what i recommend for you too and to find the good ones it's not always that the top rated sellers are the best ones on fiverr so when you go there you can sort by how many they've done how many um, reviews they've got and if they're top rated second tier or like new or whatever it may be sometimes the new guys are good they just haven't been on fiverr or long so don't don't skip over them just because they're new right and you can see there are samples too so it's really good it's cheap and it works well i've got designs that have come out of there right now that are already over like a thousand sales and more so it does work very very well i highly recommend it the beauty of that route is you no longer have to worry about it. So you just do the research, get the get the quote, get the slogan, whatever it may be. Then you send it to them and let them be creative because those creative types can do it a lot better than we can. So unless you are a graphic designer, you got to outsource it now. You just got to, in order to compete, you got to do that. So let's get it created now. So how do we do that? Your bubble. So take your design and upload it there. Simple, right? I mean, there's a little bit more to it, but that's the basic gist. Research, get it made, upload it. And they have tons of options, so you don't have to pick just one. And in fact, you should test multiple different product types. So don't get stuck on like, I'm only going to sell necklaces, or I'm only going to sell coffee mugs, or I'm only going to sell t-shirts, or whatever it may be. You should always spend a little bit of your time testing things just to find different product types that can work for you. So don't get married to one product type. And let's look at a couple of, of examples. And this is print on demand. So they print it, ship it, and only when someone orders it. That's the only time it takes place. So you don't have to buy inventory up front. You don't have to worry about a warehouse. You don't have to worry about shipping it yourself, which is wonderful. They take the order. They get paid right away. Then they pay you. Okay, the difference from the base cost to what it costs, what you actually charge the customer. And then you subtract your ad cost from that, and that's your profit. So here's some examples. You know, they do have coffee mugs, necklaces, bracelets, shirts, hoodies, phone cases I've never used, honestly. Hats I've never used. Beanies, nope. Pillowcases, I'm shocked that it works, but it does. Posters, haven't really done it. All over prints, I've tried it. Leggings, I've tried it. Laser engraved, I've done. Shot glasses, I've done. Travel mugs, I've done. Canvas, I've done. Freeform, I've done. So the difference between a freeform and a laser engraved is the freeform is you actually upload the picture. Like say it's a dog and they'll actually cut it out in the shape of the dog and then you can put whatever you want on it so that's what freeform is it's a little bit more involved but it's not that difficult so what are my top three well most of you guys know necklaces is where i make my bread and butter and i'm a 43 year old man uh, selling necklaces online so go figure right but i don't care i'll sell whatever works then hoodies are good uh, hoodies are typically more of the funny or sarcastic or make people smile angle than a necklace which is more mushy sentimental you know teary angle that we want to do the gift angle more with necklaces hoodies are buying for buying them for themselves coffee mugs are like a mix it's typically it could be funny could be sentimental could be a gift or it could be them buying it for themselves so it's really um kind of a combo on coffee mugs i put coffee mugs at number three because the profit margin or the revenue margin, whatever you want to call it, is not there. So if you lift something at like 15 bucks, you might make 10 bucks per sale, like gross. And then you have to subtract your ad costs from that. And at the end of the day, you're not left with much wiggle room. Whereas a necklace, you can get like, you know, $27, $30 uh, margin on that, which leaves a ton of room to get a bunch of sales. Hoodies are the same. You can get about $22 profit margin 
or margin, I should say. So it's really good that way. So I like the things that pay out a little bit more because then um, I can scale it easier, right? So let's see some examples. A lot of you have seen these before. This one sold like 11,406 units. It's not mine, but it's one from Gearbubble. So they priced that 34.95, which means the profit margin is uh, 27 bucks. So I don't know what they spent on ads, but I'm gonna assume it was like half of that. So the gross revenue was like 307,000. So even if they spend half on ads, that's 153. That's not too shabby. And it's just a, this design is all over the place now to my wife. I loved you then, love you still, always have and always will. With just simple rings in the middle. So I think that's kind of cool, right? Uh, there's a question coming in. How long does shipping normally take? A couple of weeks, so a week or two. They'll say like seven to 10 business days. Uh, it depends on what the product is. Now, Gearbubble... Um, they don't have like gear bubble necklace factory or gear bubble hoodie factory or gear bubble mug factory. Um, they actually outsource it to another, to third parties. So, uh, well, besides mugs, I think Rachel does the bulk of the mugs for them, if not all of them, but like necklaces, uh, I believe they outsource that and hoodies they outsource. So, which is not a problem, but, um, it's all within the U S that they're coming from. So. Uh, typically, yeah, seven to 10 business days in the US. If it's international, it'll take a little bit longer just because shipping times are longer. But it's not like drop shipping from China where it's like 45 days or like four to six weeks. And then by then you're getting a ton of complaints and all that, which by the way, leads me to something. You don't have to do customer service. <laughs> when you're dealing with Gearbubble Direct, they do it. So if they're screwing up the shipping time, they're going to take the heat, not you. So that's wonderful and that's why i really really like that because i don't like doing customer service i don't even like outsourcing it because every time i outsource customer service i find i'm doing the customer service anyway just through it now i'm like my customer service person will ask me what to do and i'm like no I, I told you what to do in this situation but they'll still want to confirm and i'm like Ugh. so then you got to get another person in there another 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 and by now you're not you're running a real business and i i don't know that's fine but not my cup of tea. So I'd rather just listen on Gearbubble Direct, have them take care of everything, including customer service. So this is neat too. I show this mug because I know a lot of guys love mugs. This is a color changing one. So as it starts out black and as they add water, it turns, it shows the design underneath. But what I really like is they took the design from like a winning necklace. Uh, and I believe this is a different seller and they've just put it on a coffee mug. So they just changed it. So they added some hearts with the rings and then same exact same saying see how they did that kind of cool right well it did pretty well so they priced that 19.95 they made ten dollar margin per sale so gross revenue was 140 so i'm saying i'm guessing because i don't know but even if they spent half on ads that's like 71,000. not too shabby right at all so these numbers are big numbers these are some of the top sellers that they've got, but it is possible. And it, and it all started with somebody going, I have an idea, I'm gonna get it made. Let's outsource it, cool, it's done. Let's put on Gearbubble, now let's market it. That's what they did. So if you're sitting there going, I can never do that. Mm, bullshit, you can, you just, you haven't yet. Anybody can. So it's great, but does this stuff, does all this stuff work? So absolutely, like that's what I say, like people make their first sales, you know, People make their second sales. The, these these posts are almost better to me than the ones that are like huge, gigantic screenshots because it's real people getting their first sales and, and just being happy. Like the, that's just awesome to me, right? And then not only that, but then they get the first sale, then they get the second sale. So they're ready to scale a little bit. So why am I showing you those people who took one of my courses in the past to show you my stuff works, right? basically and to show you that you can do it too so let's look at the next part now which is where people get tripped up a lot and rightly so because the place that we're going to use to market this stuff just keeps moving the friggin goalposts on us all the time and they've made they even announced another change since i even launched my course i thank god i'm ahead of the curve but man how to sell it it's hard so and it's getting harder and harder there's more and more competition, and that means that costs are rising. And plus, here's the thing. Facebook keeps changing things all the time. They can't just leave well enough alone. They keep tinkering, and they tinker, 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 and they don't tell you. And then your methods at work go, like, 
tank and then you have to figure out new ones. So it's very annoying, annoying when you have a great method working and now it just doesn't. And there's no reason besides they decided they're gonna change it. So the solution, I've got it. I've actually got two. I've got two new methods to run Facebook ads to your products. I've got Slow and Steady and the Megalodon. So these are the ones that I'm gonna show in the 30 day challenge. Uh, they're cool names, right? You bet. So the Slow and Steady is kind of what it says, right? The explanation is this. The tortoise usually wins a race. So we're not going for like rocket lift off, going to the moon right away, like spending, you know, a thousand, five thousand a day on ads. We're talking about slow and steady. So we started slow and we let it build up over time. That's what the slow and steady does. So what is it? Well, it's basically lower daily budgets, a lot of ad sets, automated rules, cut off bad ones, because the worst thing you can ever do is sit there all day refreshing your screen and wondering if your ads are working and wondering like, oh no, uh, I'm spending too much money. I can't, I can't leave. I can't go the, I can't go out with my family. I can't go out with my friends because my ads are running. So I got to sit here and watch them. This one, no, you, you put on some automated rules, cut it off and it moves slow and steady and it can easily do 250 plus uh, daily profits. It's great for any experience level. And that's why I put it in here because it gets you prepped for the big stuff. And that's what we want to do. There's a lot more to ads than just the technical side and the strategies and the implementation and the ongoing. There's also the mental side of uh, fear, doubt, everything that creeps in when you're running an ad for a campaign for a day and it tanks and you go, oh, no, no, I got to pause it and you panic. And that's not good. And that's just your emotions taking over. And the emotional side of ads is something nobody ever talks about. But I've been through it so many times that I walk people through it now. Even my one on one guys, I'm like, they're like, no, I just had a bad day. I hate this. I'm going to stop. And I'm like, no, you're not. It's a bad day. You just move on. Tomorrow's a new one. So you keep going. And they feel calm because they know that I've been there. I've done that. I've been through it. Been through some crappy days. And I know usually when you have a crappy day, it's immediately followed up by a really, really good day. You just have to get there. But if you don't have anybody telling you that, you're going to panic and quit. So that's fine. It'll prepare you on a slow and steady. But if you want Fast and Furious too, i I've got you covered. And this is what I call the Megalodon method. And the Megalodon was like a gigantic shark that swam the oceans and ate up like dinosaurs and everything like that. So I love it. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. It's a beast of a method. It's huge. So what is it? Let me explain. It's putting on your big boy pants. Okay. We're talking about thousand dollar minimum daily budgets to start. I even do some now starting at 2,500 a day. So you have a limited number of ad sets. You've got automated rules to tame the beast. There's a lot of them. And I think last count, there was 11 that we put on the campaigns. There's pausing rules, there's restarting rules. Sometimes Facebook, just to throw you a curveball, doesn't report conversions fast enough. So it doesn't update your dashboard fast enough. So your rules kick in and pause it. And then it'll update the conversion later. So we have to have a rule in there to pick it up, like a kind of restart rule to say, hey, thanks Facebook for like the delayed reporting. But the rule will go in and sweep in and say, oh, no, it's still good. And it'll turn it back on. It does move fast and furious. And typically, these things start out the day losing. And then they get to noon. And then the noon, I've got a noon rule in there. It shuts everything off that doesn't have a purchase yet. And then they really kick in and do some good money because the rest of the budget is focused on only the good stuff. This Meg method is using what's called campaign budget optimization, which is something that's going to be mandatory come September 2019. So this is actually ahead of the curve. Like I said, it's using a, um, a something that's going to be forced on every Facebook advertiser in the future. Not the $1,000 daily budget, just the fact that you're going to set a campaign budget, then you put ad sets in there, and you kind of have to let Facebook decide which ad sets are going to work. So that's fine, but I'm going to use rules in order to guide their hand a little bit more too. So you can easily do 750 plus daily profits on this. It's not for any experience level. You got to have, like I said, you got to be wearing your big boy pants because it's tough. It's it, the toughest part of running this stuff is the mental side. And that's the panic side that kicks in so quick. If you start your day and uh, you look at your ads at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning and you're down $300, normally you would pause that campaign because you go, oh, that's not working. Well, you can't do that with the Meg. You got to let it run because at noon it shuts down all the losers. Then it's only putting the campaign budget, the entire budget is focused on the winners. You make it back for the rest of the day, the afternoon and the evening. So it's it's tough, it's not easy. It's, it's for advanced marketers. I do show it, 
Um, but man, it's even for me, sometimes I sit there and go, Ooh, I, I'm really, sometimes it's best to just walk away from your computer screen when you're running this and let your rules handle it because otherwise you will human nature will kick in. You'll go, Oh, I don't want to lose, but you got to lose to win. So here's one day, uh, very recently with the Meg and that was, uh, 52 sales in a day. So this challenge is 300 sales in 30 days, which is 10 a day. I'm, I'm basically blown that away here. So that's 52 a day. That's my revenue. But what's my cost? Well, good question. Here you go. So you can see all these ad sets here. A lot of them are turned off. Some are left on. And this was January 13, 2019. That I put this one together. So I spent $863.85. I made like over $1,400. So you can see the reporting here too. It's showing 29 and it's showing a 29.79 cost per purchase. That's because good old Facebook doesn't report every purchase. So that's the other thing we got to deal with. We have to make our rules a little bit more flexible because they don't, you will never get 100% accuracy with the reporting on Facebook. And I don't know why. I don't know how they miss sales that much, but they do. And the other thing is uh, people that buy my stuff, uh, a lot of them will buy two or more in one purchase, but Facebook counts that as one. So that's where you can look at it. Um, that's why the numbers won't match up to that 52 it's showing 29 but this is the same day from that screenshot so let's look at this so the revenue was 1484.08 expense 863.85 profit 620.63 us i'm canadian so guess what i get i get an instant bump so if you multiply i think it's like one point i don't know i plugged in google that day it said 620.63 us to canadian dollars and it showed me like 828.49 so if you extrapolate that out, that's just one day. But if you go 30 days, that's like almost 25,000 in 30 days, 25,000 a month. That's profit. That's not revenue. And then over 12 months, you're looking at about just shy of 300,000 profit. This is on one product using the MIG. So will it do that for 12 months? I don't know, but it's nice to look at those numbers. It's kind of cool. Even if I hit that like, you know, three, four or five times a week, I'm pretty happy with that. That'll do. That'll pay the bills. I'm happy with that. So it does work. So I hope you're thinking, dude, that's awesome. It is awesome. So do you think this can work for you? It can. But if you're thinking, oh, I can't run $1,000 a day, that's a limited belief. That's that's bad. Bad on you. That's a negative limited belief that you have about yourself because you doubt yourself. Okay? So mindset matters. I showed you two new methods that are working today. But you always need to adapt, adjust, and move forward. Like I said, once I put this out there, Facebook moved the goalposts and they said, oh yeah, now, by the way, that campaign budget optimization thing, CBO, that's going to be mandatory in September. I'm like, sweet. So my Meg method works with that. The other method doesn't. It's still on the old one. But you know me, I'm working on new stuff constantly. And I think I hit on something actually the other day that is working with, uh, you know, come September, it'll be fine because it's using campaign budget optimization on a lower scale. So in order to succeed long time, long term online you just you have to adapt adjust and move forward you can't just throw in the towel because they move the goalpost on you so what worked six months ago might not be as effective today and you know does that sound difficult of course it does because there's constant flux you never have something that's guaranteed if you're the type of person who says oh i you know i need that paycheck coming in every two weeks or weekly i don't even know what people get paid anymore but if you're that type of person, if you're going to find it hard to be online making money because it's a freaking roller coaster of revenue and it's a roller coaster of income and a roller coaster of profits. Some days you're flying so high, you feel invincible and you're like, I'm going to launch a million campaigns and just make a million times what I just did today. And then you hit a speed bump and you have a bad day and you go, oh, oh boy, uh, maybe I'm going to go back to my day job. But I've never said that, but I'm sure some people can. So it's all up. It's all the gray stuff between your ears. It holds you back more than it helps you, I find, with when you're working for yourself. So it's just like anything, though. With some help, do you think you could do it? I think so. So I don't always see what you did there, but when I do, it was just now. So what I'm saying is I can help you. So you know how to sell. Let's look at the last part of the webinar now. And this is perfect because we're coming up on 11.42. So, man, time flies when you're having fun. I'm just going to take two questions here real quick. Uh, question coming in. Can you put a famous quote on mugs if you put the name of the person 
who said it's so no copyright infringement. No, no, I can't. Don't don't even if you even have to ask a question if something is trademark infringement, odds are it is. So don't do it. I mean, there are so many guys online taking shortcuts and selling trademark infringing copyright stuff and they're getting away with it short term. But you don't see them get that letter from the lawyers down the road where all of a sudden it's a cease and desist. And oh, by the way, we'd like all the profits from all those sales that you did years ago. Disney does that a lot, like a lot. So you may you may see a store, a Shopify store, and there's uh, Bob the Shopify guru, and he posts like, oh, I got a million sales in in six months, and I'm doing great, and I just launched this campaign and did ten thousand in two days, and it's like, hmm. See, I'm a kind of a grumpy old man. A lot of people tell me that, and I kind of agree because I'm old and grumpy. But I look at that and I go, oh, geez, what are they selling? Is it, is it something generic and legit, or is it something trademark infringing? And my mind always leans to the trademark infringing side. I'm trying not to be that way anymore, but it's hard. So if you even have to ask that question, odds are it is, and I wouldn't do it. I mean, I'm not your mom. It's up to you. You can do what you want, but that's just my advice. So uh, will you be using the slow and steady method or the Meg for this 30-day challenge? I will be using both. I might even show the new one. Uh, so you showed PL for the Meg. How about the same for option one? Uh, I don't have any on there for that one. But actually, I'll tell you, the profit and loss for the slow and steady is typically higher than the Meg because the Meg is a scaling method. So anytime you scale a campaign, your ROI, your return on ad spend, whatever, it typically dips quite a bit. Now, your profits overall go up, but your ROI drops. So when you're doing the slow and steady, your ROI will actually be higher but your profits will be lower because your volume is lower. That makes sense. It's a trade-off between the two. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. For current Gear Bubble 2 students, can we get a free pass to this challenge? Absolutely not. We might be able to work something out, but no way. This is way too valuable. You'll see why in a minute. All right, let's go to the next one. How to ensure success. Wouldn't that be nice? So I've sold a lot of courses over the years. I should really update this. This is a gear bubble course one. Two did pretty good too, uh, but two costs like uh, 10 times the amount that one did. So people bought like 1,200 copies of that back in the day. When you sell something too cheap, by the way, sidebar, uh, people don't take it seriously. I've noticed that. So I recently, I, I'm glad I showed this, this slide. Recently, I just bought into uh, a program and it cost me $5,800 US, which is like 7,300 Canadian. That's that's a lot of money. That's the most I've ever paid for a program in my life. But do you know how serious I'm taking that stuff right now? Do you know how much time and effort and focus I'm putting on making that work more than I've ever done in my life? Like it was the best investment I've ever done. The content's great, but holy shit, the motivation is through the roof for me and i've never ever experienced that before because i've never paid that much for a program but now i'm like like a light bulb went off i said okay if you if if, if i buy a course for 50 bucks i'm gonna go hmm, that's nice i'll skim through it i'll half-ass it i'll look for some golden nuggets i won't really do it because it's 50 bucks i don't i don't care that's not a bunch of money if i pay 5800 dollars us for a friggin course do you not think I went through every frame of every video so far? Do you not think I took action on everything? Do you not think I'm going to make way, way more than that back because of that one simple thing that I've got so much skin in the game, I have to make it back. And that that one thing I bought, more than the content, more than anything else, is motivation to get my ass in gear. So that, I'm glad I showed this because, yeah, I recently went through this too, and I said, I've bought so many of these courses over the years. And when I finally paid like a, a gigantic lump to one person for their program, I'm like, I get it. It works. So I put out a few boot, camp, boot camps uh, over the years, making six figures on those. So those are pretty good. I coach people one-on-one -on -one for a very premium fee. And I noticed something. There's a lot of information out there. So people hit this, they get information overload. So they buy this thing and then they go, oh man, where do I start? What do I do? I don't know, this, this is overwhelming. I'm just not gonna do it. 
It's the easy way, right? It leads to this analysis by paralysis. So it's overanalyzing or overthinking. And I see a lot of guys that buy my boot camps and my courses and everything else, and they're asking questions. And that's great. I love it when you ask questions. But when people start asking questions that are like 55 steps down the road that don't even apply to them and may not even apply to them ever, that's where I start going, okay, you're you're trying to make yourself feel better for not doing anything by asking all these questions about things that don't even apply to you yet. So I see what you're doing, but just you know, walk before you run here. Like go do everything first, then get stuck, then ask a question. That's the way it works better. So these are these are people that are overanalyzing and they're overthinking. And it's their brain tricking them. So their brain is saying, okay, you feel bad about not really doing much except watching a video. So we're gonna make you feel better by asking a bunch of questions about things that don't apply to you. So you feel like you're learning. Okay, it's really weird, but the like I said, the mindset side is is insane. So you get into a situation and you're overthinking so much that you, you you never take any action. You just sit there watching stuff and asking questions, but you don't do anything. You you literally, sometimes you get to the point where you don't know what to do next because you've got now so much information, you've got questions answered from stuff that doesn't even apply to you that now you're like, oh, I don't know, and you freeze. And your brain says, it's okay, just quit. Well, don't, don't let it do that. It's hard because some info is just plain old wrong. So how do you know what's right and wrong? You don't. So you're either going to not do anything or you're going to try it all. And and it, it's like you end up stressed, you get headaches, and you're back to square one. You go, why did I even buy this? Oh, man, I want to. I want my 50 bucks back. And I, anytime I see that from people, I, I, I used to be like, yeah, okay, whatever, have it. And then sometimes I'll go, why? And then they'll say, well, it's not for me. And I'll say, well, what's not for you? And they'll say, well, I don't, it's just I'm taking a different path. And I'm like, well, why'd you buy it? They're like, well, I just want to see what it was about. And I'm like, did you try anything? They're like, no. And I'm like, okay, no refund. Go try something. Then then I'll give you a refund. And then I actually have a post on my blog where one guy did that to me, and he did it, and he was making sales, and he was successful, and he sent me another email, and he's like, it worked. Thank you, Will. Thanks for kicking me in the pants. I was like, sweet. So I've seen this time and time again over the years. I'm not a rookie. I'm not new to this. But it's very frustrating to watch people go through this. I can't stand it. It makes me sad. It really does. So what's the solution? Get some help from an expert who's been there and done that and got the t-shirt already. That's the way that you succeed. I think I know a lot. And I went out to this guy and paid him a buttload of money to learn what he knows because he's making way more than me and he knows a lot more than me. And it, it you know, my ego for years was stopping me from learning from all these, all these, I call them kids. He's like in his thirties and the guy makes like a buttload of money and I'm like, well, what's the only thing stopping me from learning from this guy? Well, it's my ego. Because I think, no, I know everything. Well, I don't know everything. I finally hit the point in my life where I'm like, I don't know nearly everything. I know quite a bit. But there are people out there doing better than me. And there's people out there that are making more than me. And those are the people I want to pay to show me what the heck they're doing so that I don't have to spend years failing. Instead, I can accelerate my learning by paying them a good chunk of money. And there, problem solved. So that's what you have to do. You have to find somebody. And I go there. I, I love this example because uh, Arnold's my favorite. But imagine you want to become a bodybuilder. So who would you want to teach you? This little scrawny kid or my man Arnold? Of course, you'd want Arnold, right? You'd want him. You'd want the best. You don't want some wimpy kid. So if you had him teaching you, would you become a pretty good bodybuilder? Yeah, you would, absolutely. So how about a step further, not just teaching you? What if, like me, I did it with you, okay? So I'm not just teaching you how to do stuff, but what if I, I kind of said, okay, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put your money where my mouth is. That'd be pretty cool, right? That's not all, though. I got one more crazy thing. What if I hand you the, the designs using your own accounts? So I've never done this before. I've been copied and you hear me harp on that all the time. Don't copy, whatever you do, don't copy me, don't copy me, don't copy me. And still 20% of you copy me. And I'm like, bang, 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 my head on the wall. And finally I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do this thing because I have the confidence that I can start something from scratch and I can make it work. And I'm just gonna hand it to you. And you're like, well, now we're competing with each other. Well, you're competing with each other anyway, but we're gonna be in such big niches that it's not gonna matter. And I'm not scared because I know that I cannot possibly show my ads to 
what, 50 million people? I can't. Well, even if I did, I'm not going to sell to everybody because it may, it may be the wrong time of day. I don't know. The sun, the moon, the stars aren't aligned right. But a lot of us can get into the same niche and make money very easily. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, here, here's how I did it. Here's my designs. Boop, there you go. Now your turn. And I've never done that before. Never. So I'm a little bit, I'm very interested to see how you guys respond to that. But um, I have a system, right? And it allows me to replicate success. And the system I've tried to convey through courses and boot camps and everything else, but I've always noticed the one missing piece is the design. A lot of designs that I see people do just aren't very good. And then they wonder, well, why are, you know, your system doesn't work. I'm like, no, it does. It really does. You just haven't hit on a good design yet. And they don't believe it because they're like, I tried three. No, <laughs> you go, okay, now add a zero to that. And now, now you've got an argument, but you don't at three. Okay. You're not even scratching the surface. So bottom line is I want you to succeed. So I'm putting your money where my mouth is. That sounds weird, right? So question for you, does that sound nuts? Give me a one in the chat box if you think I'm nuts. <laughs> but <laughs> no, you're supposed to put two or something else. <laughs> Everybody put one. Thanks. All right. So another question. Are you where you want to be right now? So be honest with yourself. I'm sure a lot of you aren't. Actually, I know a lot of you aren't because I see a lot of names on here. And I keep seeing the same names. So I know you guys aren't where you want to be. Uh, what have you done to change your situation? A lot of you have taken action, and I really like that. Some of you are new, and you haven't even, I don't know what you've done, but have you got help? Have you taken action? If you have good, you will crack through. You will get it. Just don't quit, okay? I know, like, back years ago, I lost 100 pounds in 106 days, and I followed a diet and a routine, and I didn't lose it all overnight. It took time. It was very difficult. And actually, now I'm kind of pissed because I gained most of it back because I got lazy. So I probably have to do this whole freaking thing again. But anyway, I'm human. Do you know how I learned my weight routine at the gym? I bought this book. It's like uh, five inches thick, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. And I bought it when I was 15. It's still on my bookshelf. It's right behind me. I can spin around and look at it right now. That's how I learned how to, how to lift weights from that sucker. And it's still, there's nothing that's come out since that's better than this book. Because it's from the champ. And he, like, the the human body hasn't changed that much. I mean, what we put into it can, but still, it's awesome. So do you know how I learned the diet to follow? Well, it was a friend who was a former Olympian, gave me a diet plan to follow. And I followed it. And she was right. And I'm, when I looked at the diet plan, I was like, that, that seems insane. And she's like, just do it. And I was like, all right, I got nothing to lose. Why not? And I did it, and it worked. So without that help... I wouldn't have lost the weight. There's no way, no way in hell. Without taking action, I wouldn't have lost the weight. It wasn't just do a diet. I mean, diet is a huge part of weight loss, but there's also like the workouts and there's the cardio and everything else that you have to do and you have to be consistent. And again, even with dieting and with losing weight, the bulk of it is between your ears because you control what you put in your mouth every day, right? So it's huge. So people see success, they think it was easy. It's not. So how do you ensure success? You need to do something too. You need to follow methods that work. Then you'll succeed and you'll ensure your success. So here's an example, just following a system. Jay, I show him because I've got a couple from him. Um, he bought another one of my course, showed his first sale, first order. No, first sale. Yeah, one guy bought two things on a store. So he made some money, it's awesome. This is a couple, oops. This is a little bit later. Well, I didn't know I could scroll down like that. So he got his first, got my first six-figure store going. Thanks, Will Hamrell, for showing me the way. That's awesome. So that's his gross. That's his net. That's his total sales. I imagine he probably spent about half that on ads, maybe a little bit more than half. So even if he pulled in 40, 50,000 profit, wow. Like he went from nothing to that. That's awesome. I'm proud of this guy. So someone needs to show you. Otherwise, how do you know what to do? So I had someone show me, and without them, I wouldn't have been self-employed since 2007. I had a mentor who said, hey, Will, here's what you do. Here's how you're going to set it up. Here's where you, how you're going to run the ads. This is what you do, buddy. And I was like, oh, cool. And I got some questions. He's like, okay. But I didn't just randomly ask questions. I did it, got stuck, and then, and then I'd say, well, what do I do here? And he said, no, do this. And I'd say, okay. And that'd be it. I didn't go off like the, the route where I ask questions 55 steps down the road you don't need to do that okay so it's like anything in life you learn first 
just like anything, from people who have already done there. So what if there was someone who could help you learn? What if there was a course on all this? There is. What if there was a 30-day challenge on all this? Even better. What if it walked you through everything step-by-step step in detail? What if it gave you the freaking design so you can put them in your account and you can make money finally? And that's the end of story. I love that. I'm so excited to, to do this. I don't care if just one person joins my program, they're gonna kick ass. So actually the less people who join, the better it's gonna be for you guys. So I am capping this. So would that help you? So last question, you enjoying the webinar so far? It's a little bit different. I went through a lot more detail than I usually do, but I think you guys can handle it. Do you think this stuff can work for you? So we've covered what to sell, how to sell it, how to ensure success. So my question is who? of you wants to take it to the next level. I think all of you. So I'm just going to introduce it. It's a 30 day challenge, 300 sales in 30 days. It's only 10 a day. We can do that. Even if we have days, we get zero. We get, we're going to have some days we get 20. So that's not going to be a problem. So the info and methods I've shown you only scratch the surface, not even really a dent. The challenge is all about this, showing exactly what to do by watching me over the shoulder, step by step. Then I do something I have never done before in my life, and I don't know if I'll do it again. It depends on how this one goes, but um, I'm gonna give you everything. The designs, go ahead, run them in your own accounts. I'm like donating them, because I know I can repeat this with more designs in the future on my own, and I'm in multiple niches anyway, so this is really no skin off my back. If you guys can make money and be happy, I'm happy, right? I wanna get you profitable. That's what it's all about. So what is it? It's four live webinars where I go over everything. And then it's group coaching in a group on Facebook. It's all delivered online. So that's what it is. Four live webinars and group coaching. Plus you get the designs. So it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, it all takes place in a private Facebook group. That's where I like to hold these things. And it's a complete system with all the methods shown from A to Z. I'm doing it. And then I'm just saying, here you go, do it. You have my permission to copy me for the first time in the history of Will. Copy me, please copy me, I beg you. Sounded good to be true? It's not, but I'll tell you, I'm not a charity. It's not gonna be cheap either. I can run this for 30 days and make a lot more money than I'm gonna make off of uh, a 30 day challenge, but I like helping people. So I know it sounds corny and sounds stupid and people be, might be like, yeah, right, you just want our money because that's how you make your money. Yeah, that's not how I make my money. No, I mean, I make part of my money that way, but I'm actually in the trenches with you as you will see. So what you're gonna get, the 30 day challenge, four live webinars over my shoulder. You watch me do it in my ad account. You watch me do it in the gear bubble account. You watch me, the design's being done. You watch everything I'm doing live. And then I'll post a replay up there so you can go back and you can watch it and repeat it and pause it as you upload stuff to your own accounts and do it too. Then you apply what I did to your own campaign. So that value is it's way more than this, but uh, about 5,497. So I also have some bonuses. They're not really bonuses, they're more part of the program. But first, um, I just, I wanna reiterate, like if you're tired of struggling, this is gonna fix it permanently, okay? Were you doing things the wrong way? Like it's not your fault, okay? Maybe you're flying solo, you could use some support. So that's what I can fix if you'll let me. So that's what the first kind of bonus, it's not really a bonus, it's more part, part of the program, but you don't have to fly alone anymore. So bonus number one is the group coaching. That's in the private mastermind group. That's where everything takes place. So the webinar is like the training and then you go into the group and you get the coaching. So it's not one-on-one, it's all through the group, okay? Just to be clear, I had a guy, uh, I don't know if he's on here, but he said, He's in one of my groups and he said, oh, do you mind if I send you my designs and you can look at them and critique them and you know, offer me some, some private help? And I'm like, sure, but that's kind of my one-on-one -on -one program. So I can't really do that. That wouldn't be fair to my one-on-one -on -one people if I did that for you for the price that you paid for one course because they paid a lot more for my undivided attention. So just to be clear, this is group coaching. It's not um, sending me an email and saying, hey, here's my five designs. What do you think? It, privately, I can't do that. I can do it in the group if you post them, that's cool. Then I'll help you out in there. But it's just a time thing, right? Because my one-on-one guys are paying a lot of money for my undivided attention. So I have to give it to them. And it wouldn't be fair to them if I started giving that to everybody. And it wouldn't be fair to me because I'd be spreading myself too thin. And it wouldn't be fair to you because you wouldn't be getting my full attention. So that's just to be clear what it is, it's group coaching, right? And it's got a huge value. It is as much easily as the training because you're getting coaching. That's what you need. So. 
the group and the webinars are awesome. But let's add that fantastic, never been done before, third part to it all. Like <laughs> I've never done this before and I might regret it because if I hit a gigantic winner, I'm gonna be kicking myself because I'm gonna be like, I just handed over this and it could have made me like $300,000 and shit. But you know what, that's a risk I take. So bonus number two, all the designs to use in your own account. So I can't even calculate this value because you've seen what I can do with like, I showed you an example of one of my top sellers. I've got more top sellers that I don't show, but it's a big risk because like I said, if I, if I hit on one, which I hope I do, that really pops and then give it to you guys and you guys pop with it, it's gonna be like, I just lost money on that deal, but that's okay because it's a trade-off. It's risk, risk versus reward. So as you can see, I can't really put a value on that. I'm gonna attach a number in a second, but I think the number is too low. So I showed you one that brought in like over 160 of my own in revenue, right? Like about 80 of that was profit. So how do I put a value on every one I use in the challenge. I, I don't really know. I've never done this before. So I just, I said, you know what? Let's call it 100,000, which is super low, I think, because if I hit one big one, I can do more than that. If I hit two or three big ones, it's going to be way more than that. So let's call it that. If you only got that, would that be worth it? If you only got my designs, would it be worth it? I hope you're shaking your head because I think so. So here's what you get you get the webinars, 4,997 value, the private mastermind group for the group coaching is that now this number looks insane right but it's not it's actually probably low the designs used okay that sounds absurd will come on hundred nine thousand in value you've seen what i can do why not i think it's low i don't think it's absurd so come on will well i guess i knew you guys were thinking that so i said look at one of my past designs made it's not absurd value wise in fact it's probably low like i keep saying I'm making it irresistible, okay? That's what I'm trying to do to you. I'm trying to say, yep, gotta do this. I wanna do this. This is the this is where I, you're at the fork in the road. And I was at this this fork a couple of weeks ago in my life where I said, all right, dummy, I'm speaking to myself. You've been trying to get this stuff going and going and going and you're doing pretty good with it, but you could do better. And you know there's more potential in you to do better. But you've been trying to work this as a one-man band, trying to teach yourself everything, trying to go off on your own, out to your own little corner of the of the of the universe, and you know, sitting in your home office all day and plucking away and testing things and trying things and working through systems and funnels and everything and ads. And you know what? You deserve to learn this faster. You deserve success. You deserve bigger numbers. So it's time for you to go to somebody and say, hello, sir, you're better at this than me. Here's my money, show me. And that's what I did. So I've been in your shoes and it took me a while to finally plunk down that money and say, yep, I'm doing it. And even after I did it immediately, I was like, what did I just do? And then that didn't last very long. It lasted like five minutes. And I was like, nope, I'm going in there. I'm gonna start right away. And it worked and I'm already, I'm already, not regretting my purchase because of the motivation factor that I talked about earlier, that alone is worth it for me. So paying somebody to say, you know what, I now have to make this back minimum and I'm going to work my ass off to make this back because I'm not an idiot and I don't make bad choices. So I'm going to make this 5,800 back no matter what. Mine's not 5,800 by the way, but that's what I did. So I know exactly what's going through your head. Like, get to the price, Will. So I've never offered this before. Maybe I should. So let's put this into perspective before I get to the price of this. You've got disposable income. You ever buy coffee at Starbucks? I see big lineups every morning. Of course you do. That's disposable income you're using. Do you ever eat out? Of course you do. That's disposable income you're using. Do you ever do anything? Go to the movies, go to a show, go to a concert, go to a game, go wherever. You're spending hundreds of dollars every month on stuff. So... What if you invested in yourself instead? So what if you could put in a buck and get out a dollar thirty to two dollars? Wouldn't that be kind of cool instead of just like a cup of coffee every day? I think so. So back to the offer. It's a pretty good package so far, right? It took me a long time to put this all together. It took me a long time to figure out I'm actually going to do this because I'm taking a big risk and I'm taking a big risk of a big loss. That's the only risk that I'm taking because, like I said, I could hit on a couple big winners and I have to hand, hand them over to you. So you've got two choices, do nothing, right? You can certainly do that. That's a comfortable way. Your brain's probably saying, nah, I'm not gonna do this, do nothing. I'm just gonna keep struggling. It's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine living down here. That's cool. Um, I've been there, 
personally, I know that. Don't take the leap of faith. That's risk free. That's what your brain's probably saying. Go back doing whatever you're doing before you spend time with me today. Or you can pony up a small amount of money. And I call it a small amount because compared to the potential of what you can make, it is small. Okay. So it's almost decision time. That's the total value. And yeah, 109,994 is, is absurd, right? No, it's not. That's a ton of value. It's everything you need to finally profit online. Two types of people, Lazy Larry, Take Action Ted. I want these people. I don't want lazy people, right? And here's the Take Action Ted, just so you know. He started his test campaigns a few hours ago, got his first shine on sale, which is awesome. Thanks for the great course. Love it. So information alone is not going to help you. Taking action will help you. And you know what? I should add a new slide here. Copying me is going to help you even more. So I put together a package today that's going to over-deliver on value. Not every one of you is going to do this because your brain's going to say, nope. And that's fine. It's not for everybody. So if you want methods that work and you want to do it a new, better way, and you want the designs I use, that alone is worth the price, by the way, then you get all that. And it's not like anything you've ever seen before. Okay. Combined values, gigantic. That's my price, 2,500. It's right between my course and my one-on-one. -on -one. So let your brain wrap around that number for a second. Think of that as an investment in yourself. And think of that as... Okay, Will's doing something here he's never done before, and he's got a charge. I get that. And I like what he said about the motivation, too, because if I plunk down that, that amount of money, I better make that back and more. So I'm going to work my ass off to do it. And that's those are the people I want. Those are the people. That's why I'm limiting this, too. I'm only taking on 40 people. In my group coaching environment for 30 days, I can handle 40. Um, can't handle 140. That's too many. So I'm limiting it to 40 people. Now I did a little bit of math here too. 10,000 people got the email for the for the webinar. And I ran, actually I ran some ads too. I got some people from that. Um, 315 registered, not too bad for like a three day run. Uh, but 40 are gonna get in at 2,500. So for me, that's a good trade off. It's worth the risk for me of like hitting a couple big winners and handing them over to you. But for you, it's even better because I'm capping it. So not everybody and their dog is going to be running my designs. There's going to be 40 of you running it. If you do some quick math, 40 out of 10,000 is 0.4%. So the question I have to ask you is, will you be in the 0.4%? And you can see the URL change at the bottom here. Okay. If you want to get started, go there and do it. You'll get instant access to the group. The thing hasn't started yet. It starts next Monday. Um, the cart closes Sunday night. All right. It's a limited time offer. I'm going to leave it open because a lot of people watch a replay of this as well, but I'm only accepting 40 people. The card is closing. I think it's like, what's that? Six days, a little over six days now. Well, next Sunday at midnight, whatever that is. That's when I'm going to start it the next day, the next Monday, the 11th. I think that's a March break, but if you can't make the first live one, don't worry about it. I'm going to record it, put the replay in the group. We're basically going to have, there's going to be 41 people in that group, me and 40 people. We're going to kick ass with, with this stuff. So um, if you want some perspective, like how can I dare charge that much? Well, here's what I charge for my three main programs, basically. So the highest level is one-on-one. Before that, I charge 5,000, and that's six weeks. And that's like 12 calls, 30 minutes a call. I usually go over on a call, but that's like personalized, dedicated, in your ad account, me actually doing it, you watching. And then the second half, I switch to like you're doing and I'm watching. So yeah, this, I mean, this is available. I don't really have any spots right now, but you can get on a waiting list for it if you want. This is the 30 day challenge where it comes in 2,500. And you can see my courses and my boot camps. I charge like 500 to a thousand for those. So it's kind of right in the middle. Well, a little bit below the middle if you go from this, but from zero to 5,000, it's in the middle. So that's what I'm doing. This is four weeks of my time. I threw in that huge, 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 huge offer of giving you the designs because that's where everybody struggles the most. I, I even put that in the gear bubble course, the second version. I said, I know why you're failing. I know why people fail. Your designs stink. They're no good. So I am totally removing that possibility from this program because it's going to be me getting the designs done. I know what works. I know what looks good. I know what sayings work. So that's what you're going to get. So you don't even have to do that part. So if you went out and bought a whole bunch of designs that's going to cost you 500 to a thousand dollars on your own and you don't even know if they work right and then you're going to see my ad campaigns and you're going to see holy shit he's targeting this why is he targeting that i never would have thought of that 
oh, that's how you do that look like? Oh, that's what a super look like is? Oh, cool. Oh, that's the Meg in action? Oh, man, this is awesome. Like, this is a program, like, if somebody else put this out there and they were actually legit, I'd be all over it, okay? So if all it did was show you the full system, including slow and steady and Meg, would that be worth it? Absolutely. If it just gave you, you know, support via the private mastermind group coaching, would that be worth it? Absolutely. I think if all it did was just give you the friggin' designs I use and, set, and gave you permission to use them, that'd be worth it alone. Okay, if somebody, if I saw a, a big seller saying, hey, I'll give you a bunch of my good designs that I've got, I'd be like, yeah, I'll buy those, no problem. Because I can think of different angles, I can think of different targeting, I can think of different ad copy. It'd come from a different Facebook page and a different ad account, go into a different URL. So Facebook considers that like a new one, right? So. The, the niches I'm in are huge, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you have questions, I mean, email me, ppccoach at gmail.com or post them in the group, ppccoach.com slash group. You can get started, uh, get in there. <clears throat> like I said, it's first come, first serve, so I am capping it at 40. If you apply a couple days down the road and I don't have any spots left, I'm going to have to turn you away. Okay, so I don't want that to happen to you. So what's the difference between now and later? Now you might be struggling later. You're not going to be. You're going to be using my freaking designs. So you're going to get all that for 2500 It sounds like a lot of money, but is it? I mean, in the big picture, how much have you spent on courses over the years? How many of them worked? This isn't a course. This is a challenge. This is a complete hybrid of anything you've ever done. So you can get in there. There's my email. There's a the group. Uh, what times? Oh, man, we went over on time. Okay, so I'm going to go through these common questions here. And... Uh, then I'm gonna, I got some questions coming in the group, and we're going to wrap it up within like the next five minutes, just give you a time frame. So I get some of these all the time. You know, what if I've never heard of Gearbubble before? Not a problem. I'm going to walk you through it all, so you're going to see it all. Okay, what if I've never run Facebook ads before? Good. I always, I love this, because I don't have to break bad habits. So you probably, a lot of you have been in a lot of groups, and you got a lot of ideas and a lot of, um, a lot of things going through your head that are like, no, I have to do this because this guy in this group who I don't know, never met, have no clue who he is, told me I had to. Oh, okay. All right. Well, stick with that. No, no, you're not. You're going to you're gonna do what I say because what I say works. And that's the way we're going to roll. Okay. So I'm going to eliminate all that question stuff from you. So what if I don't learn anything new? You're going to. This is all. These are new designs I'm going to do right before you. You're going to see what it takes to hit a winner. And I think for a lot of you, that's going to be one of the biggest takeaways is, man, that took a lot. Like, he had to test and test and test and test, and then he hit one. And that one that he hit paid for everything, and holy crap, now he's profiting. And everything else, all these other tests he's doing, wait, he's still doing tests? He hit a profitable one. Why is he still testing? That's what you got to do. You're going to see all that side of it that you never see. You're going to see basically the crap side of online marketing. Where I have days where I go, that day sucked, that day sucked, that test didn't work, that one didn't work, ding, hit one. Okay, here we go. We're off to the races. Like this, I actually hope I struggle. Well, I should knock on wood here. I want to struggle a little bit in the beginning just to get you guys the feeling of um, what you have to go through when you're doing it on your own without somebody doing it for you. So I'm kind of, in a way, I'm kind of doing this for you. And I think that's going to be a huge benefit. So I, I hope a couple of mine flop. Because I know I hit, I'm going to hit a good one. I have zero doubt in my mind. But I don't know what that good one is yet because I'm not going to plug in existing winners. I'm going to go with new stuff that I can hand over to you. Okay, So I'm going to keep pumping out my winners on the side. But uh, the good stuff, you're going to get it. And you're going to get the bad stuff too. So will the methods work with Shopify? Yes, they will. So I think somebody in the chat already said, you know, can I do this with, with like Shine On? Uh, you absolutely can. You can. Just take the methods and apply them over there. The gear bubble training and stuff that you'll see, um, I'm not going to demonstrate with Shine On because I'm not going to demonstrate on a store uh, because I don't want to do customer service mainly. But I heard through the grapevine that Eric, the owner, is actually working on something where we're not going to, we're going to be able to like launch direct. I hope, fingers crossed. It's just a rumor, but I hope that he goes to that because I'm not a fan of doing customer service. I'll tell you that much. So how is it delivered? Online, available right now, well, like there's nothing in there. It starts on next Monday, but 24-7 access to the group once you get in there, so I can help you in there. Is it going to work for e-commerce? Yeah, it is. It 
pretty much is e-commerce, it's like print on demand. It's not drop shipping from China. Some guy asked me on one of my ads in a comment, is this stock and option trading? I'm like, no, it's not stock and option trading. It's print on demand, man. Is it right for me? Of course. If you want to do things the new way, and if you kind of want a handout, which I don't blame you for, because a lot of you kind of are probably sick of that. You know, I've been doing this so long. Jesus Christ, what am I doing wrong? Pardon my language, but I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. So let's just eliminate the worst parts of it. Give it to you. You watch me. We'll, we'll do it together. We'll, we'll hold hands and we'll walk down the beach and we'll be happy, right? So where can I go to get more questions answered? You can go to the group. Go there, ppccoach.com slash 30. Get instant access to the group. And then limited time offer, like I said, closes Sunday night at midnight. I'm only taking 40 people. If you come in a couple days from now and uh, I don't have a spot for you, then I'm sorry, but I can't take you. So that's going to, I don't know how fast this is going to fill up. I don't know if anybody's going to buy it. I don't know if the 300 people are going to buy it, but you can't because I'm capping it at 40. So, and it's going to, it's going to really hurt me to turn people away, but I have to, because my, that's the hard limit. And I know that me as a, as a coach, I can't go over that. So maybe I'll run another one in the future if, if I need to, but don't risk it. Just say, you know what? It's time. It's time for me to purchase some motivation. How about that? So you're going to get everything else handed to you on a silver platter. Purchase some motivation. So you kick some butt here. So you put, you really put in, you know, give it the old college try that maybe you've never really done before. And I, I don't blame you. I'm guilty of that too. I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. But I know that when I bought this big program that I bought, man, my motivation went through the roof. And I, and I haven't experienced that in literally like 10 years. So me alone, just plunking down a big chunk of money is like, I can see the value in this. That's very good. So if you're still on the fence, here's two more dudes. Uh, Troy, Will always delivers. My third time working with him. Learn so much each go around each round. Sorry, he always makes content easy to understand. Is always willing to help. Great guy, great value, great expertise. Awesome, thanks, Troy. And then for Mike, I have to say this is the best training I've received on the web regarding marketing money well spent. Thanks for the great experience. So go there, get it, buy it. Uh, like I said, I'm limiting it to 40 people. If you're number 41, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. So I don't know when this is going to take place. So I should say, um, if it lasts until Sunday, great. But Sunday, like the definitive hard deadline is Sunday at midnight. But it could be that, you know, a bunch of people get, a bunch of people buy on this, a bunch of people buy on the replay, and the spots are gone. So I don't know when that's going to take place. Um, what I'll do, I'll send out an email. If it fills up like tomorrow, I'll just say, sorry, the spots are all gone. You know, maybe, maybe make a waiting list for a next one. But I don't know. I, I've never done it before. So I don't know. It beats me. But like I said, once 40 sign up, it's locked. Don't sit on the fence. I don't want everybody, like I don't want a thousand people doing this, but 40, I think we're safe. So let's stick to that. Go there. And that's about it. So I'm going to take some questions in the chat and then I'm going to close it off because it's getting to be lunchtime here and uh, I'm getting hungry. So let's see. Oh, a bunch of questions. Okay, here we go. You are nuts, but I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Hale. Yeah, this is this is the craziest one I've ever done. Uh, so, Hale, I've outsourced three now that are at the winner stage. Two are in the slow and steady right on from the course. Is your webinars during this time regularly? Uh, I have them set for 10 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. If that's an issue... Um, I could probably move one or two to like an evening or something like that. But we can talk about that when we get in there. Um, there's also, like I said, you can post anything you want in the group. In the group coaching, I'll hit you there. Um, the live webinars are good. Uh, and I can take questions live on them. But you can also, you still have full access to the group coaching anyway. So for me, it's just a matter of like, when do I get the house to myself? Because I work at home in the home office and right in the front of my house. So for me, the best time is like when nobody's here. So if I run something during the evening, it's a little bit more difficult because there's seven people in my house, including me, and uh, it's pretty busy. So I don't, I have yet to put a door on my office, which is dumb, but I'm going to, that's my goal before the summer to get a door on there because my wife's a teacher too. And she's off in summer. Kids are off in summer. Everybody's running around like chickens with their heads cut off. So 
Uh, here's another question. How much Facebook advertising experience do we need? You need zero because uh, you're going to watch me do it and then you just basically copy what I do. So if you have no experience, great. It's going to work for you. Do you offer a risk-free guarantee? Uh, no, I don't. No, I could. Honestly, I could run 30 tests and flop every single one of them. Um, I doubt it. But there's only two things guaranteed in life. You're going to die and taxes. Everything else is up in the air. So if you're feeling like, um, well, what's your refund policy? If that's the question, then please don't apply because I, I don't want people going into anything where the first thing they're thinking is, how do I get my money back? Um, I'm not, I've been around a long time and doing this a long time. I'm well established and I'm not some fly by night guy that's just going to um, not give it 150%. So uh, it's just a matter of trust, really. Um, so, there, you know, there, nothing in life is risk free. So I can't say yes to that. So I'm not going to. And if that bothers you, I mean, no problem. We'll just part ways as friends. That's okay. Do you take PayPal? Uh, I do. If you need PayPal, send me an email, ppccoach at gmail.com, and I'll send you an invoice. Uh, that way you have it for your taxes. That's the other thing. Um, that's like a tax write-off you know, for, for a business because you're buying a course for, to promote like online to um, further your education. So that's actually a tax write-off. That's another reason I did the one I did because I needed more tax write-offs for my business. So that 5,800 US, Tax right off, love it. So can I use Shine On instead of Gear Bubble? Yes, you can. Uh, I'm just not going to go through the setup of the Shine On stuff. But if you're already in Shine On, then you know how to launch one on there. So you could certainly run the ads there. That's not a problem. How many designs are you going to share? That's a good question. Uh, I'm thinking minimum five per week. Uh, so that's 20. Uh, it may be more than that. It really kind of depends on how fast I hit a winner. So if I don't hit a winner, I just keep going until I hit one. Uh, but I mean, typically, historically, my numbers like 28% are winners. So that's about one out of three. So I should hit a winner pretty quick, but you'll get them all. So you, the beauty of this too is like I might, I'm going to test it using the testing methods that I have. But just because one like didn't get a, didn't pass the test phase for me, it doesn't mean it can't pass it for you. So you can still run that same one in your account and it might be your winner because the ad account, the Facebook page, the time of day, you know, the way the wind's blowing, that that has an effect on, on whether it's a winner or not. So um, my winners, you'll get them, but you also get everything else I tested. So I would say minimum five per week. So that's like uh, 20 designs, which is a ton if you're going to test. So even throwing $100 at each of them, that's $2,000 in testing. So the cool part is I have to eat that cost, not you. So that's pretty cool that way. So things are working now. I want them to work big. Looking forward to it. Well, right on. Awesome, man. What niche are you going to do? Good question. I'm not giving that away on the webinar. <laughs> it's going to be, I've got a couple that are working very well for me. And uh, yeah, it'll be one of those. So I'm not giving that away for free though. So you'll see, and it may be, I may even do multiple niches. So I can't give you a direct answer on that. Um, but I mean, the niche itself is going to be big enough that we can all be in it without stepping all over each other's toes. Like it's not gonna be like high school art teachers. It's way bigger than that, like multi, multi millions in size. And there's gonna be, you know, disposable income where the guys can buy it. The people can buy these products uh, and there's also going to be historically where I've made a lot of money. So that's, if, I hope that helps you. I don't mean to be wishy-washy, but I'm not giving away my niches on a free webinar. All right. You mentioned once upon a time, the big URLs like Gearbubble and Teespring didn't convert. Is there an update on that? Uh, they seem to be converting again. Um, Don ran a lot of, he put a lot of time and money into uh, battling some bad reviews that he was getting and it, it's working. So I went back to going straight there and uh, Teespring, I can't speak because I haven't used them in so long, but Gearbubble, yeah, seems to be working. So what time of day will webinars take place? Uh, scheduled for 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern every Monday. Um, but like I said, if we need to throw one on an evening, we can do so. That helps you guys. If you guys really want to get on a live one, you can't make it because you got like a nine to five job. That's cool. Um, I do have a couple one-on-one -on -one guys right now that are, that are at night, 
and um, they're trying to get you know to the point where they can quit their day job. So I fully understand that. There's sometimes the evening ones aren't necessary. I just have to throw out that caveat that I got a busy house, so it's hard for me to run them at night. I'll do my best to make sure that we can accommodate everybody. Uh, thanks for the presentation. Awesome. I mean, how much ad spend we need for 30 days? Uh, I can't say what you'll need, but I know I'm going to need at least $2,000 in ad spend, me doing the testing. So seeing as you guys can pretty much skip the test phase, um, I mean, what you spend is going to be up to you. So uh, you, if you're coming into it thinking, oh, I just need five bucks and I'm going to make some money, maybe, but is it worth it? So it's not, I mean, the price alone that I'm charging um, has to be an indicator that we're, we're going to put some pretty good money into it so that we can make you some pretty good profits. Uh, the thing I found too with a lot of people is they don't really want to spend much on ads and then they get impatient and they quit because they're spending such a tiny amount every day that it literally takes like two or three days to get a sale. And in between, you know, the, that two or three day period, they sit there pulling their hair out and going nuts because they're like, this isn't working, this isn't working. And the truth of the matter is it is working. You're just not spending enough money to see the big results. So if you want big numbers, you have to spend big numbers. If you're happy with small numbers, you can spend small numbers, but you have to be very, very, very patient to do that. And I find usually, like anything, like say you, you want to lose weight, you go on a diet, and for, uh, I don't know, a couple of days, you're like eating right and exercising, drinking a ton of water, but then you get on the scale and you lost like half a pound. You're going to be like, oh, I did all that work for nothing. Then you're going to be demotivated. Whereas if you go on a diet and you lose like three pounds in the first couple of days, most of it's water weight anyway, you're going to be motivated because you see that number going down on the scale. So as humans, we need to see some kind of results for our actions or we lose motivation. Okay. I mean, there's more, it's not that simple, but that's a big, big part of it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. How much that's been? 30 days. So keep 3k on the side for ad. I mean, I can't give you a definitive number on what you're going to spend, but yeah, it's, it's going to be up to you how fast you move with the designs that I give you. So uh, the more you spend, the faster you're going to go. The less you spend, the slower you're going to go. Uh, you should mention how fast you get your money back from Gearbubble for those who aren't familiar with the platform. Oh, right, right. So from a cash flow point of view, um, when we make a sale on Gearbubble, um, I do withdrawals daily to my PayPal account. So you can have it withdraw daily to your bank account too. So the money you're putting in, it kind of flows like this. You, you put money, Facebook will charge you for the ads. And then Gearbubble will take all the orders and everything and all the everything, all the payments. And then you request a withdrawal from Gearbubble. So every day you can be requesting a Gearbubble, a Gearbubble withdrawal. So the cash flow is daily coming into your bank account or your PayPal account. I send it to PayPal because that's where my ads are paid for. And plus I'm in Canada. So the U.S. dollars that I get into PayPal, I have to convert it to Canadian. And I only want to do it once in a while. I don't want to do it every day because I really get stung on the exchange rates. So not fun, but got to do it. I guess I could, you could also withdraw direct to your bank. Actually, I had a guy, who was it? He had, um, he was in a country that didn't support PayPal. So he was just getting withdrawals from Gearbubble to his bank account, which is fine. You can set that up too. All right. Uh, what is the success rate your students have with the course? With the course? I actually don't know. Uh, judging by like there's been a couple guys posting some good screenshots in there. Um, but overall, I, I don't know because not everybody, some people get into a Facebook group and don't say a word. They just lurk forever and ever. And I don't know how well they're doing or how bad they're doing or anything. So um, with my one-on-one -on -one guys, it's like 90% are working. Uh, there's like always, yeah, nothing's perfect. So there's always like 10% that aren't doing it. But uh, for whatever reason, my success rate is pretty good, I would say. Um, but again, I can't guarantee your success. I can guarantee mine because I know what I'm going to put into it. So it's hard for me to say, well, it's 20%, but I've got so many different things going on that I don't know. I don't know what it really is. I, I guess one true measure of is a guy good at what he's doing is how long has he been doing it? How long has he been around? And, um, to, like, 
are there a lot of complaints about them online? Or, you know, that's always a factor too. So I know for me, the only guy who ever complained about me was a guy who was trying to take all the members off my membership site. And uh, so he was trying to badmouth me uh, in order to gain members to his new site that he basically copied mine on. So that, and that was back in 2009. And we're in, oh my God, that was 10 years ago. So that was, we're in 2019 now. Um, and if you Google deep enough, you'll see who it is. And I, I still know that guy's name. And I would love to meet him face to face just to have a coffee and discuss it because he was a total jerk. But anyway, total sidebar. Um, if there's any more questions. Oh, uh, I'm doing well with Google Shopping entirely. Thanks to your course. Oh, awesome. Donna, cool. <coughs> so will any of this new training be applicable to Google instead of Facebook? This new training is uh, Facebook. Is the price U.S. or Canadian? It's U.S. Because the bulk of the people that um, I sell to and that I coach are in, in the U.S. So I keep it in U.S. dollars. Plus, it gives me a nice little bump after two. So what is your email address? ppccoach at gmail.com is the address. So you can email me there. So my voice is dying here. I'm going to close on that. <coughs> Thanks to everybody who already joined. And like I said, it's capped at 40. So I can't guarantee how long it's going to be available, but the hard deadline, like definitely, like say nobody joins, it's Sunday at midnight. Um, and I think there's already a couple in there, uh, but I haven't really checked yet. So anyway, thanks for coming on. I totally appreciate it. If you guys have any other questions, email me. Just let me know. And um, I don't mind answering anything you've got. And also, you can post in the group. Post any questions you got in there, and I can help you out. In the free group, it's ppccoach.com, ppc-coach.com slash group. That will redirect you right to the Facebook group. All right? Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much, and we will talk soon.